Welcome back guys. Thanks for tuning in. My name is Gus. This is Dustin. And uh, if you've watched the previous two videos, you would remember that uh, we wanted to come up with a fundamental definition of what is automation, what is a Crestron system, identify all the different components within it, and start uh, talking about the skill set that you will need in order to, instead of just focusing on installing the system, that you could actually uh, interface with the equipment and have discussions back and forth with the programmer so that he doesn't have to be on site and that you can get the rudiments and the the basic skill set to interface with the gear. Yeah, basically we want installers to be able to take the code, the programmed code and load it and test it on site. Sure. So that's huge for, um, for making an AV team work better. That's huge for um, being a manager in an AV company and being able to send your guys out to do the install, but they can also load the code, keep your restaurant programmers focused on on like more complicated projects that they're working on or other jobs that they're working on. And sure. just write the code, test the code in the office, but then give it to the, the guys that are on site and have them load it and test it. So would that be the future of installation is that uh, you're going to start uh, encouraging and creating hybrid hybrid uh, roles where, yes, we got to get down and dirty on site and build the systems, but then we also need to be able to be a bit more technical and white glove when it comes to um, the computing and the IT. Yeah, I think like you don't necessarily have to be a programmer to be able to load a program. Good. And that's something where it's kind of abstract for, for the paradigm of how things are now, where it's like, if it's the code, if it's the program, well, that's somebody else's job. That's the programmer's job. And if it's the install, well, that's the installer's job. Um, as a programmer that goes on site, sometimes I have to switch around the TX and RX wires, and I don't really mind. It's just what I got to do. Yeah, but we need to eliminate that. I, I'm, I'm done with those years of people not knowing which RS-232 configuration. We got to start educating people so that we're being more efficient and, and not as sloppy because... I can't get away with that. Oh, my jobs, especially with my clients, this, this stuff needs to work. And I think at the end of the day, the, the project needs to work. It needs to be finished. And whatever means we can get there in a more efficient way is better for everybody. Okay. So if we're taking away a little bit of role from the programmer and putting on the install um, or commissioning team, um, programmer can work on other stuff. So it's not really taking away, it's enhancing that's my feeling of it anyways. Okay. It's just, I think, historically, commissioning was always uh, perceived as the role of the programmer because it was very technical. And, um, you know, I don't think a lot of installers are interested in opening up a laptop and looking at uh, DOS from, from my experience. I, I definitely don't want to do that. No, it's not very much fun. But I think the real prog problem that we've got here is if you're an installer trying to learn how to do all this stuff, first of all, you might not even think that you need to learn some of this stuff, right? From, yeah. a, from a business owner perspective, two guys present themselves to me to help me on a job. One of them is strictly an installer, which is good. But one of them is an installer with the ability to load code and test, commission, and uh, collaborate with the programmer. Nine times out of 10, I'm gonna want choice number two. The reason being is because it's gonna make my day easier and it's gonna get the job done quicker and it's probably gonna cost me a little bit more, but that means that I know the job is gonna get done and I don't have to shuttle or fly or bring the programmer to site to fix little sloppy issues that were created in the installation. Right, and how are you going to learn all this stuff? Well, you gotta, get a programmer and pay him and say, hey man, I wanna learn this. Can you break it down into bite-sized chunks and uh, teach me how to commission? Yeah, that or go to a bunch of manufacturer training. I mean, you'd probably have to go to, to some networking course to kind of learn some, a whole bunch of networking stuff where you only really want the fundamentals. Sure. Um, you'd go to Crestron training and learn a bunch of stuff about programming when really you just want the fundamentals. Okay. And all that stuff takes a, quite a big time commitment, okay. but then you also have to figure out what you need to know and what is kind of irrelevant. Now, with every troubleshooting session, with every time we, we get to the point where 
Dustin has taught us how to upload a program and he has taught us how to test without him being on site. But would you say that every time we do that, we will encounter a specific nuance or a specific problem that uh, improves our skill set? Yeah, for sure. Um, every time you work with it, you're going to get better. And when you start, you're not, you're still not going to be fairly super confident on it, right? Sure. You're going to have to kind of take baby steps and kind of, as you go, this is, this is kind of the path you need to follow. This is how you load the program, but here, try it out a few times. But the first one is usually the biggest one, the most difficult one, right? So we have one and that is our role today is that we are going to break it down. You are going to show us all of the different software, the computer that you need, the, the networking that you have to understand, and you're going to try and make it so that the installers can digest this information. The cool thing about it is you can make it pretty simple. Good. There's a lot of complexity. You can make it super complicated. And I think a lot of the courses try to tell you everything, right? They want to teach you everything about certain narrow silos of, of information. Not interested. But we're trying to kind of boil that down to what would you as an installer need to know to be able to load a Crestron program? What software do you need? You don't need all the software. You don't need all the Crestron software to do it. Well, bear in mind that we've already put in like a good solid day's work, just getting everything done, getting everything built. It could be a large system, multiple days, multiple people on site. The last thing we want to do now is to start over from scratch and learn a completely new trade. Uh, nothing would ever get done. So let's put it this way. Give me the bare bones basics to interface with automation and load a code and test it and troubleshoot so that I can continue being good at my job, but also add another level of skill on top of it. So that way, I know for a fact that I am indispensable. And from our collective AV experience, both of us know that the industry needs this. I get asked for it all the time. We know that it's a skill that's valuable for the installer to increase the capabilities of his career, increase his earning potential, essentially, increase his usefulness. Um, as a programmer, I know that it makes me more effective to be able to just concentrate on the stuff that that takes a lot of thought, sure. the, the hard, complicated problem solving and coding. Keep focused on that. Let um, let Gus with the install team load load the code. Okay. Well, you know what? If we could offer you this course to help your career grow a little bit and to arm you with these tools, this knowledge, this skill set, working directly in conjunction with a programmer to make sure that what we're doing is correct, I think, uh, I think we should do that. I think it's something that's super valuable. You don't have to you know, jump on a plane and try to schedule a week off to go take a bunch of courses. You don't have to get like buy-in from all your managers and stuff to you know, pay for this expensive course and hotels and stuff like that. Um, you can kind of do this on your own time because it's delivered online whenever you have time to, to take a look at it. It's not going to be super expensive, but it's going to really help your career. I think we should start the journey right now. If you want to join us, you're more than welcome. If you want to learn some Crestron fundamentals and actually, you know, level up, we're going to teach you. I think it's time to look at advancing your career to the next level. And this is a big step and a good step. See you on the inside, guys. Thanks.